Hey, 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 homies. What is up? This is our serious. Welcome back, guys. Today, I want to share with you my latest Enderman farm design. As you can see, it is extremely fast, very efficient, and it's the best part. It's a 1.8 Enderman farm, so there's going to be a lot of cool features incorporated into this this design. So, for the people that uh, been following me on my Let's Play Survival, they know that. Um, I don't have an Enderman farm so secretly I've been working here in my test world coming up with a new design and I came up with this one I couldn't wait until later on I had to show it to you guys um, so this is gonna be a quick sneak peek of what's coming up soon in my let's play survival as you can see it has very traditional the way it's built uh, it has the two wide drop zone right there it has the water on the outside, the same old, same old, but let's go inside real quick and we'll show you some things. Now I don't want to spend too much time in the bottom. All the nice cool features, the 1.8 features are on the top level, all the way in the top. But I just wanted to show you real quick a quick solution for the Endermites. As many know already, uh, Endermen when they teleport, when you're XPing, they drop an endermite and what they do is they they can hurt you and if you don't have armor they can do a lot of damage you can do two things you can add this you can add a beacon um, you can actually add a dog and it'll actually help you out but um, let's go ahead and switch modes real quick so I can show you again um, this is not the the part I want to show you but now that we're here now this is not completely fall, fall um, it's completely fail proof sometimes you get some endermites that jump over uh, because mobs are random the way they behave but most of them fall inside the lava so it will reduce some of the chances so yeah you just get all the endermites I mean get all the endermen from here very good this is a very very fast enderman farm guys so let's drop a couple here so this is what happens they fall right into there into the lava yeah, of course if you're close if you're close they will hurt you if you stay right here so yeah it does help and you see it's not completely fail proof you get some of them that will go to the top So uh, <laughs> again, it's not completely fail proof, but it's only like a it's a small band-aid on the endermites. Yeah, but this is very fast, guys. Super fast enderman farm. Okay, enough of a, enough said. Here in the bottom, let's go upstairs and take a look. Let me just switch modes again. Okie dokie. And let's take a quick look in the back before we go upstairs. So underneath this, we have a minecart that's going round and round. What it does, it picks up all the all the ender eyes. I mean, the ender pearls. There's a chain of hoppers all going into this chest right here. So it's something basic. Everybody knows how to do this. There's nothing special about that. Again, let's show you the top where the the all the new cool features are. So let's put on peaceful for a second and let's go ahead and put it back so you can see some of the things that so you can see right now this is it guys is that when we're closed they don't spawn but let me just do it one more time so you can see there we go you just saw one in action on the there we go very cool awesome so the cool thing about this one this ender farm is that it uses one piston check that out guys oh my goodness this is great just one piston what does that mean less lag second you don't need that many resources that and less iron or redstone and there you go we got a nice working platform the only bad, bad part about this farm is that you need a lot of obsidian but I guess if you have a sand I mean um, uh, obsidian generator 
you can harvest this pretty fast if you have efficiency and you have a beacon with uh, efficiency on it so yeah but I definitely like the way this came out and a cool thing about this farm and why is it so fast well it's there's plenty of air blocks as you can see right here everywhere I'm placing this bl these blocks or air blocks right there like that whoa <laughs> look at that oh my god alright so everywhere I place the block there's air blocks and as you know mobs need air blocks next to them so they can spawn in the back part you're gonna have air blocks here yep it's very open they cannot escape so yeah let's go upstairs show you the top there you go uh, you can put the piston anywhere you want you can put it here 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 anywhere you want but for for me uh, symmetric so it looks very symmetric I put it like that so let's go ahead and put a night potion on and put it back on peaceful this down can you see this in action there we go awesome awesome so okay guys let's go ahead and take you to my other test world I want to go ahead and show you um, how to build these platforms kinda like a small tutorial so uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to build the platform in the bottom because that's not my my idea of you probably know what to do you can do whatever you want at the bottom and you know that they need a good drop like about 47 blocks drop so I'm gonna just show you how to build this platform real quick and I'll see you back at the test world okie dokie guys alright everyone welcome back and we're over here at my other test world where I do a lot of experiments with mobs and farms so this time I'm not gonna teach you how to do the basics I'm gonna just go I'm just gonna show you how to build the platform I assume you know most of this by now. Um, if you don't, I'll leave a video in the description below of a tutorial I did way back ago, the 3G Enderman farm, if you need help how to build all this. But real quick, uh, you got to build away from the island, 150 blocks. You have to go low, about level 6, and start building from there, level 6 or 8. <coughs> Sorry. And your first your drop block or where, where endermen are going to fall has to be 42 blocks away from the the vines alright so this is going to be your drop zone right there 42 blocks up it's going to take you it's going to take you right here so when endermen fall down their last block is going to be where the button is the wooden button and they're going to drop 42 blocks all the way down okay into that platform so let's move on real quick let's start building this this is a, a cool feature that the the guys from the sick crowd came up with and uh, Mojan incorporated into the game the, sl the slime blocks the sticky slime blocks everybody knows it by now um, it can push up to 12 blocks that's pretty cool there's some blocks that they can't move like obsidian like chest I believe a chest um, furnace so you can consider using other blocks um, that are cheaper than obsidian or probably easier to to harvest than obsidian but I prefer obsidian because it looks good and it actually it looks very good at the end and it's a very good contrast with um, the quartz and the green okay so let's start by adding our first platform we're gonna go out 12 blocks and come back Okie dokie. After doing that, we want to add our piston by going out five right there. We're going to add our piston, slime blocks, and we're going to take it out to right there. We're going to leave this area for obsidian, just like that. Again. We're going to go right there, cover the slime blocks with obsidian, and gonna have, we can remove this, add our first blocks over here, go 
down like this very good and over here we can add our other block trip wire I mean trip hooks and let's just go ahead and add our string it's not going to work until we add our redstone repeater just like this very cool now you can put you can remove this if you want you can put the piston here but I, like I said I like it the way it looks like right there looks very symmetrical I like that so let's test it out there we go awesome and for the next level all you have to do make sure to cover this with some um, half slabs so you want to probably go here here and start covering this up like this oh, actually never mind for the next level we want to extend this platform out just like that all right and you can add a, another obsidian block there so when it comes out make sure it's a block that can't be moved all right and you're gonna repeat the pattern right here so you wanna go up where your piston is uh, right there that's good slime block and again we'll do this take this just like that all right and let's go ahead and add up seat up uh, slime blocks all right so that's the second cell we can do just take this up a little bit more uh, let's see right there just like that and again we'll put the other side over here for the trip hooks always put your blocks here so we don't have no spawning and repeat that cover this up and there we go we got two cells done and to do that on this side you just do it change your view and do, the, do it the opposite way there we go we got two slime blocks um, platforms all done and so you don't have enderman spawning here you want to uh, don't put slabs here put them over here better just like that that's two and a half enderman don't spawn there so there we go guys that's the new design alright everyone so there we go a quick showcase tutorial if you liked it and you find it useful don't forget to leave me a like it really helps my channel also I am gonna build this in survival so if you wanna see firsthand how to do this in survival mode I'll see you at my let's play series so okay this is our serious MC with another tutorial hasta la vista babies <laughs> later guys <laughs>